I'm from simplyhike.co.uk. In this session, we're looking at Van Gogh's Hurricane Range. Comes in a 200 and also a 300 as well. With its symmetrical geodesic design, lightweight and fast pitching, it makes Van Gogh's top end mountain tent. So it's also got some great features on the inside as well. So let's go in and take a look. So here we are inside the 200. It's designed for a two-man tent, although realistically you probably want to have this to yourself and give yourself an extra bit of room. Some of the features that we've got then, nice large opening at the front makes it nice and easy to get out. This door as well can be zipped up and slightly undone from the top, folding it down, creating a flap and just allowing some more air to circulate inside the tent. The door itself as well has Van Gogh's extra little thumb loop on the zip itself, makes it nice and easy to do up, especially if you've got gloves on as well, nice and easy to grab hold of. Got the ground sheet on the bottom there, you can pop all your equipment, all your backpacks, boots, anything like that out towards the front, keeps it nice and protected and also keeps it away from the main sleeping area itself. It's also a dual entry tent as well, so we do have a doorway just at the back there with another little porch area so we get great storage. The sleeping pod itself, this is hung independently away from the external fly sheet which just maximises the amount of ventilation around the tent itself, creates a nice climate within the sleeping area and also cuts down on condensation. On the bottom, we have a bathtub style ground sheet. This is just curved up around the edges, prevents any water from getting in and also keeps those insects away. Some other features we've got in here, we've got a lot of vent areas. We have two at the front, also two at the back. These lead out into external vents, which we'll take a look at in a second. Again, just maximising that amount of ventilation here, making it nice and comfortable. We also have pockets dotted all the way down each side of the sleeping area. So means you can pop all your essentials in there. They're right to hand, makes it nice and easy to grab hold of anything that you need throughout the night. Got a nice large door opening as well, again making it nice and easy to get in and out of the tent. And the door itself, when not used, just goes in a little stuff pocket down the side here. So here on the outside of the tent, we can take a look at some of its external features. We have flat pole sleeves. Benefit of this is it just allows the wind just to go over the top of the tent nice and easily, prevents any extra turbulence inside, makes it more comfortable. Reflective tabs dotted around the tent itself makes it more visible at night. And then here we have those external vents, these ones that lead into the in inside of the sleeping area itself. These vents just really maximise the amount of airflow within the tent itself, again creating that nicer climate. Let's now go and take a look at the 300. So here we are inside the Hurricane 300. Exactly the same features as the 200, but obviously slightly larger. Designed to sleep up to three people, which you could pro probably fit in here, but ideally you'd probably want to share it between the two of you, give yourself that extra bit of space. So as we said, exactly the same features, identical to the, the 200. Some of the things we missed now in the last one, just towards the top here, we have a, another little mesh panel at the top. This is again, great storage area. Maybe pop anything that you need drying up here, maybe clothing or anything like that, or anything you need to get to to hand uh, during the night. And again, that extra space just makes it slightly more comfortable in here. But as we said, ideally suited more towards two people rather than the specified three.